Hi, this is Chris Marabella with Marabella Commercial Finance. I'm here at ICSC Las Vegas 2016 with my friend Matthew May. Hey, hey Matthew. Chris, how are you? Uh, we're going to talk about some of the overlooked factors that in investors, when they're purchasing net lease, should be looking at from Matthew's perspective, right, Matthew? Absolutely. What are some of those things that investors should be looking at that they aren't right now that you see with dealing with investors? So the investors primarily buy on the emotional aspect of the transaction, who the tenant is, and, and the cap rate, which are fine and very important. So you're saying they should be more logical when they're buying they and should do their research. Right. They need to expand the viewpoint in which you look at things in order to make the decision. If you're going to invest in the stock, you want to understand what's the credit rating of it, what's the free cash flow, what's the so, so how are people buying these? Just on emotion or like commodity? What are they doing wrong? Well, they follow the bird and okay. they look at it in the broker. So, the Del Taco, for example, is for sale at a three and a half cap, okay. and Starbucks are three and a half caps, and Wendy's are three and a half caps. They're going to go, well, that's the market. But they're not looking at it to say, wait a second, what's the credit risk of that tenant? Okay. If they, are they best afraid? Are they subpar? Why buy a Del Taco? At the three and a half, like buy a McDonald's or a Starbucks at the three and a half. So they're not differentiating uh, from credit to credit. All they're looking at is kind of doing a, a blanket slate, and they're not looking at the specific deal or credit. Correct. They, they'll look okay. at it. Some of them will say, "Well, I like Del Taco better than Taco Bell. I don't like Taco Bell's food." Not quite. That's fine. You go eat a Taco Bell. Okay. Uh, I see. I see. So, the other so how how should they be looking? at they should look at, they should do the financial research to understand first if they, if they have access to it, or if the broker does, or find how they can get the sales which we're put for it. Understand is the, dem are the demographics in the area changing? Because in addition to credit, you need to understand a dark store could be worse than having a store that's where the tenants paying the rent when they close it. Right. And, they, and to give you a good example of it is LA Fitness versus 24 hour fitness. Okay. So the perception of the marketplace is that LA Fitness is financially a stronger tenant. The okay. stores are newer, it's right. a newer company, and they used to be very close to investment grade. Today, 24 hour has a lower risk of default on the bonds than, 20, than LA Fitness. Hmm. It's, it's perception versus reality. Okay. And okay. an example in, in Arizona, there's a building, LA Fitness acquired 24 hour fitness properties. Okay. They shut down three of the 24 hour fitness stores. That property was for sale for an eight, an eight cap, about 24 hours operating. Even though the income is still there, you actually have two 24-hour and LA Fitness on the lease, the value of that property dropped by 30%. Let me ask you this, Matthew. Uh, when you're dealing with your investors and you're looking at a certain credit, do you go on Yahoo Finance and look at the balance sheet, the shareholders' equity? If it's private, do you call the chief financial officer of the company to try to get the finances? What? How do you do your research? So, our, our starting point. Yahoo is a good basic place to start. Okay. The better way to do it is the standard course. The Moody's have programs which are not open to the public. Do you have a standard? Days. I have a standard and course account. Right. So anybody watching this can call me. I can look up a bond rate. You may have no, the same can. thing, right? So standard and course, the standard SP, we produce a quarterly credit credit rating report. Which okay. has the, the basics on it. So somebody can call you for a free credit right. analysis. They can correct and it. how could somebody call you? What's your number? So phone number is 818-528-3999. What is that again? 818-528-3999. And what's your website? Like, what's the information they can get on your website? So they, and what is your website URL? So the website is www.mra.la. Okay. So can somebody visual. Google you? Are you pretty? Yes. Like, are you Google? Googleable? I'm a Googleable. I guess <laughs> I've been doing this for 30 years, so you'll find me on the web. So Googleable. Google. Mr. Google 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 Google. Right here. Um, but on our website, you yeah. we're very, we'd love to educate because an educated okay. buyer both is an easier transaction, but it's a better transaction for all parties. So definitely. we'll have our credit research rating reports going back to uh, analyzing the, the defaults when we have the, the crash to the quarterly reports. We'll do market reports categories. I mean, you need to understand the evolution of retailing and what's going on. Most example. definitely, even from our standpoint as a loan broker, absolutely. my lenders are in the same position as the buyers, and we want to know the shareholders' equity of the company. We want to know the bond rating. We know that if a company's investment grade, the probability of lease default is much less Correct. than a, a less than investment grade credit. 
And basically, when we're doing these deals, it's different than a home loan where the source of the payment on the loan is from the borrower. With our, with the net lease, we're looking at the tenant to make the payment, and then the cash flow goes into the client's account. The difference is you're financing the company okay. versus the real estate, which is really important. But on, on non-investment grade credit, there's a balance between the quality of the real estate, and the key thing is making sure that there's a greater likelihood not only the rent payments, but in continuing to occupy. Most definitely. As you talk about CVS, who's done a very good job of evolving in a traditional drugstore, you can go in there and you can get your deal and eat groceries. So that's how things, we've got to make sure that the CVS is in the shopping center or the grocery store and they, can, they have the use clauses and they're not going to be in trouble when they relocate. Matthew, I, I want to thank you for spending this time with me. Matthew May. May Realty Advisors. Call Matthew for if you want to learn more about what to look at with NetLease. He's a great agent in this space. Uh, this is Chris Marabella, Marabella Commercial Finance. You can always call me if you want information as well to research a, a specific tenant. Uh, my number is 760-479-0800, 760-479-0800. Uh, and I do recommend you can also go on Yahoo and get a lot of the balance sheet, the income statement. Or if you need a bond rating, call me or Matthew. And we can get that. Matthew, I guess, has a credit report, right? Yes. Specific so credit report. That out. That's free that you can call him. But thank you so much from ICSC 2016. Thanks again, Matthew. Have a great rest of your convention. Appreciate it. Thanks.